Hey guys, today I'm going to share with you the one simple tip that completely changed the way I plan out all my game projects. So, you're thinking about your next indie game project. You picked a genre and a theme and you're ready to start. But now where do you go? Maybe you open up a Trello board like your favourite YouTubers, but then you feel overwhelmed with the work that's ahead of you. Or maybe you're the opposite, and you're falling down a rabbit hole of creating dozens of columns, colour coding systems and hundreds and hundreds of tickets. We've all been there. Days wasted planning out the next six months of our lives before even getting started on a prototype. Halfway through, you lose the motivation and abandon yet another project. But what if I told you there's an easy solution, and it's probably right in front of you? That's right, your controller. Or keyboard if that's your thing. You can use your controller to see how the player will interact with your game, and let these interactions drive your plan instead. Let's go through an example. You're making a third person shooter. You press the right trigger. What does this do? Well, it fires your weapon. Great, that's your first task. Now, let's drill down further. What happens when I find my weapon? If there's an enemy in front of you, then you'll damage him, and you'll make a damage sound effect. If you shoot him enough, he'll die, maybe even drop some ammo. Now we can repeat this for all the buttons on the controller, even the most obvious of controls, like moving or aiming. Drilling down on these basic tasks will only help you flesh out your plan even more. And don't feel like you need to drill down too far either. If you're just starting your project, it might make more sense to get a surface level understanding of what's ahead of you, rather than getting too bogged down on a single task. For now, the goal is to get started, so think broad rather than deep. So why does this work? Well, if you're not too sure about your game's features up front, it's a great jumping off point to start to visualise how your game will be played. On the other side, if you know exactly what kind of features your game will have, it keeps you grounded and focused on the player's interactions and experiences. Either way, this approach allows you to get started on actually making your game. Now you have a plan you can act on within minutes rather than days, and you're not spending longer than you need to fleshing out technical details, game law, or artwork. And if you want to flesh out the plan further down the line, just grab the controller and pick up where you left off last time. But the key benefit here is motivation. You can visualise your game being played. You can get something playable faster than before. Then you can get feedback from the players. You can see how excited they are to play it. And this gives you the motivation to actually finish the game. So next time you think of a game idea, why not start with a controller? If you enjoyed this video, why not leave a like? I'll be making more videos with playing tips just like this, as well as game dev tutorials in the future. So if that kind of thing interests you, consider subscribing.